Hmm. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Perhaps you have already guessed what I wish to discuss. The word Capitale does not mean anything to you? Huh. For some time now, the organization that I represent has been using a unique system of exchange for our more sensitive business dealings. This we call Capitale. Private bonds with their value guaranteed by the reputation and considerable resources of my employer. It's a more uh, civilized way of doing things. Until every cutthroat and gutter trash got their filthy hands on them. It cannot be allowed to continue. The value of Capitale depends on a certain exclusivity. Understand? Come. I don't know how much you have heard of our ambitious new senator, Anton Ricard. He's an officious, naive man who has yet to learn how politics work. But his grand plans to make Lemoyne the star of the next year's state fair in Sacramento. He has also been making life very difficult for us. Come on. Ah, excuse me for a moment. Oh, forgive me, Signor. I thought we'd be meeting alone. Who is this? He was just arrested by one of my men in the old quarter. I thought you might be interested to see what they found in his possession. How did you come by this? You stole it, yes? No, no. Please, Senor. Senor Martelli. Do not speak I, my name, I, Porco. I found it. I swear to you, I On did. On your knees. I did. I found it. I did. On your knees. I swear to you. No, no, please. I, Where did you steal it? I, I promise you that I didn't steal it. I will ask you only one more time. Where did you steal it? From some of the Cornwall's boys. Le Leviticus Cornwall. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. I trust this man will face the full penalty of the law. Most assuredly, Signor. Good. Proceed. Was there uh, anything else? No, I think that was enough, don't you? Yes, sir. So, to my proposition. You will find beads like that one as far from here as New Austin, if you know where to look. I need every piece of Capitale taken out of circulation and returned to me. I warn you, some of this work will require a strong constitution. In return, I will reward you with a unique business opportunity involving our friend, the Senator Ricard. But that is for later. I wish to see the quality of your work before I reveal my hand. I'm sure you understand. Now, it is best we do not meet again. All further communication will be through my intermediaries. Some of them are friends of yours already. I believe Mr. Foreman, Mr. Langton. In any case, bring them enough capitale to impress me, and I assure you, it will be worth your while. Now, if you excuse me, buona caccia. Well, 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 looky here. You come here to rob me, you ain't gonna get much. Life's pretty simple out here. Only thing I got worth taking... Well, some old stories. And those ain't everyone's taste, neither. You know, folks like to come out here, lend a hand, time to time. And I'll pay them for it when I can. You see, this old leg here, uh, well... To be more precise, the lacking of it... Prevents me from taking care of things the way I like to. What do you say? You want to help an old man out with what's vexing him? All right. So here it is. Supply wagon's supposed to make its way up here. Got caught in an ambuscade. Now here they got it and all the supplies out near Six Points Cabin. You can bring it back for us. Why, these coming months might not be so hard on certain folk. Thank you. You try not to be causing any casualties if you can. 
Ending lives when it can be avoided, well, that ain't gonna make you too proud in your old age. I know that only too well. So long. Good luck.
Just go your way and I'll go mine. It's going to take some time to trim this mess. Been a lot of that lately, but they always move. I'll take it, but I've already got too many. I'll be right with you. I know you're up there. <laughs> oh, marvelous. There she is. Just what I need, the crazy wood nymph. Can't a man take a bath in peace? What the hell is that? It's a panther. Oh, you savage. And a nice clean one now, too. This is going above the mayor's bed. OK, uh, Mrs. Hobbs will be by to handle the taxidermy. Oh, travel safe, my friend. Wait, who are you? Where's Cecil? Glenn. I'm a friend of his. Cecil had to take a few days off. Mm hmm For stress. Is there any <laughs> animal that you have not slaughtered? Oh, you flatter me, Miss Sorry, Davenport. I really will be right the with you. The answer's no, but I'm retired, as you know, and have been for some time. Yes, and how many have you out there killing for you now? Not nearly enough, I'm afraid. Business is booming. What about you there? You a hunter? Gus McMillan, master craftsman of fine clothing and accessories. Here's my card. I pay top dollar for animal furs and parts. The rarer, the Don't better. Don't listen to him. Unbelievable. How do you sleep at night? On the tiger bed spread, my dear. Seriously, come see You're me. You're no better than a murderer. And one day, you'll be seen as such. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you mind taking this outside? I don't want to Shut trouble. up, Glenn. Listen, soon as a squirrel finds a cure for tuberculosis, let's oh, talk. If intelligence is the barometer oh, of who has geez. the right to live or die, you should have been court-martialed at birth. Annoying, isn't she? <laughs> See him? 
The only thing he had on his mind was hunger, sweetheart, but I pulled the trigger. Survival of the fittest, didn't that your mentor's trite catchphrase? It's not survival of the fittest. You are killing to line this your own pockets. This is how I make my living. We don't all have a rich daddy. While you're camped out in the woods, making witches' brews and talking to the wildlife, the rest of us are doing some real work. You think work. this is some big joke? Oh, no! That, that's what? enough! You ah. all is that ah. crazy ah. shrew. Ah. Ah. They should ah. throw you in an asylum. Ah. Oh, that's it. I quit. You can tell the mayor I'm ah. going home. <sighs> oh, <laughs> sorry about that awful man, Harriet Davenport. I've been in the field now for three years, studying the hidden interconnections between animals of all species. <laughs> I've seen everything. I've <laughs> had joy, disgust, regrets, envy. <sighs> We're so much more alike than we are different. I'm on the brink of discovering the pathways that link all life. I, I just need more research material. I have in here detailed notes on pretty much every animal from Armadillo to Annisburg, including the locations of some truly impressive varieties. I would be willing to sell this to you if you will commit to bringing me anatomical samples from live species and <sighs> promise not to carry out any more animal side in pursuit of Gus McMillan's greed. I'll pay you, I'll pay you, of course. I promise I'm good for the money. You don't have to decide right now, just think about it. We've been brought together for a reason. I feel that very strongly. I've been experimenting with tonics that can provide access to remarkable new pathways of communication with other species. You have to live as they do, eat as they eat. Hop as the toad, dig as the mole, love as the badger. <laughs> if you see what I've seen, you just have to open your mind. Join me on a voyage of discovery. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Okay, then, let's get you kitted out. All right, what have you got? Yeah, I get a lot of these. One day I'll have to tell you about my summer hunting walrus on Unimax. 